Okay, continue here. I don't know what number this is, but I'll uh, I'll begin it. I, oops, see here. Oops. Yeah. I have no idea what number this is. So, yeah. But this is a continuation of from the book I put together that I published on Amazon a few weeks ago called the the Quran says what? Yeah. All right. Continue here. Apparently, enough of it, Aramaic, survived for Mel Gibson to make the whipping of the Christ. I mean, the passion of the Christ. Again, if the Quran is true about all only given books to prophets in their own language, then how come the book given to Isa is called the Gospel or Injil? Not an Aramaic word, but a Greek word for good news. How come? Think, oh, save the best deceivers. Think. Yeah. Muslims believe in the original re 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 revealed words given to Moses and Yeshua. If so, then when did those books become corrupted and not original to make all those scriptures in the Quran a joke when it says the Quran confirms the before scriptures? Was it before or after Quran 6101 and, and Quran 2106 about abrogation? Was it, be was it before or after they were handed down those scriptures? Again, before or after. The books are Torah and Injil and Zabur of Dawid, the Psalms of David, and the Psalms are in the Old Testament. New Testament original manuscripts were not Greek. It was Aramaic. I bet you're right. Where, 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 those, where those original manuscripts? Well, where are the bones, leaves, and shoulder bones that had the original Quran written on, down on them? Simply, Greek, Romans changed it into their language. If so, and if that means they are corrupted, then you are admitting that the corruption of the before scriptures occurred before the handing down of Quran 16101 and Quran 2106, making Quran 568 a joke and a lie when it tells Jews and Christians to stand firm upon the torn angel. It also makes it a lie that a Christian should use the angel to judge their end of the Quran with Quran 547. It also lies for telling you, a Muslim, to make no distinction between all his books if the Quran is the only book of Allah that is not corrupted. Face it, if the Torah and Injil are corrupted, then Quran 16101 and Quran 2, 106, are lies when it says all the abrogate scriptures that have been lost or corrupted or, yeah, replacing them with something the same or better. It also proves that the Quran is a lie about not being able to change or, all, or alter all its words. Even Bible scholars deny that their whole New Testament is Jesus' own words. Right. Um... Right, for a lot of them are Paul's, John's, Peter's, you name it. I don't see <sighs> Yeah, right. I don't see how this I don't see how it means that the angel is not to be stood firm upon, like Quran 568 commands Christians to do with the Injil. The Injil. Injil is the gospel of Jesus mentioned in the Quran revealed in Aramaic. Quote, Injil is the Arabic word for gospel. And gospel is a Greek word, not Aramaic. Being the case, how come Allah supposedly sent a book in, to, to Aramaic G, to Ar how come Allah supposedly sent a book to Aramaic Jesus with a Greek name? Not Aramaic name. Gospel is Greek, not Aramaic. How come, I'll say the best deceivers? How come? It doesn't exist anymore. If not, if that, Aram that angel doesn't exist anymore, then again, you're admitting 
That corruption of the before scriptures occurred before the handy down of Quran 6106 and 2106, making Quran 568 a, a joke and a lie when it tells Jews and Christians to stand firm upon the Torah and Angel. It also makes a lie that Christians should use the Angel to judge their end of the Quran with Quran 547. It also makes it a lie and a joke to come to me for my reading of the before scriptures of Quran 1094. It also makes Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 72, 72 lies for telling you, a Muslim, to make no distinction between all his books if the Quran is the only book of all of that is not corrupted. Face it, if the Torah and Angel are corrupted, then Quran 60, 101, and Quran 2, 106 are lies when it says, says all abrogate scriptures that have been lost or corrupted, replacing them with something the same or better. It also proves that the Quran is a lie about not being able to change or alter all his words. Also, if the angel is lost or corrupted, then you make Quran five thirty you make Quran three, verse fifty five, and Quran sixty one verse fourteen lies about Jesus and his followers prevailing and being uppermost until the day of resurrection. How much time do I have left here? Oh, I still have some time yet. But its message had been messed up by later generations. If so, then again, you <laughs> you make Quran 3, verse 55, and Quran 61, 14, lies about Jesus and his followers prevailing and being uppermost until the day of resurrection. For the only angel that is uppermost is the New Testament. That is gospel to Christians of today and has been. Uh, and today it is available in the form of the quote, Bible unquote. The fact that the message of the Gospel of Jesus is proven by the quote, different versions unquote, of the Bible. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? All have Jesus going to the cross and making sense of the sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah. All's book given to Musa. These books no longer are in their pristine form. So? They still, they, you know, so? Yeah. Yeah. They still made sense and make sense of the sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah, all is but given to Musa. They have been tampered with, if so, if, then the Quran is a lie with Quran 3, 55, 16, and uh, Quran 3, uh, verse 55. Yeah. And six in sixteen one fourteen about Jesus and his followers prevailing being uppermost until the day of resurrection. If so, the Quran is a joke and a lie when it tells Jews and Christians to stand from upon the Torah and Angel. It also and I, I, I pretty much hit him with the exact same thing, but what the heck, I'll just keep on going, yeah. Repeating myself. It also makes a lie about Christians uh, uh, about Christians who it also makes it a lie that a Christian should use the angel to judge their end of the Quran with Quran five with that be with to judge their end, use the angel to judge their end of the Quran with Quran 547. It also makes it a lie and a joke to come to me for my reading of the before scriptures with Quran 1094. It also makes Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 70 through 72 lies for telling you, a Muslim, to make no distinction between all his books if the Quran is the only book of Allah that is not corrupted. Face it. If the Torah and Angel are corrupted, then Quran 16, 101, and Quran 2, 106 are lies when it says all the uh, abrog uh, abrogate scriptures that have been lost or corrupted or forgotten, have been lost or forgotten, replacing them with something the same or better. It also pr proves that the Quran is a lie about not being able to change or alter Allah's words. What is Angel? Uh, what is angel? <laughs> the New Testament that Muhammad mistook as being a book given to Isa when it never was a book. Mo made the Mo. That's I call him Muhammad Mo. Mo made the same mistake, uh, believing the, the Torah was a book, uh, book given to Musa, when it was actually five books, the Pentateuch books, written mostly by Moses. Muslims believe in the original work of Yeshua as inspired by God. If so. 
then the Quran is false. For again, there's Quran 3, 1, and I, I think I hit them on the exact same thing again. Don't, do I? No, I don't. Okay, a little different here. If so, then the Quran is false. For again, there is Quran 3, 55, and Quran 61, 14, the, uh, which are lies. Uh, yeah, excuse me. If so, then the, the Quran is false. For again, there is Quran 3, 55, and 61, 14. 6114? What's the 6114 stuff? Oh, yes, yes, 6114, yeah. And there are lies that G Jesus and his followers, about Jesus and his followers prevailing and being uppermost until the day of resurrection. Which can't possibly be true if the angel is not the New Testament, because it's the New Testament that is prevailing. You know? This is referred to as angel. Prophets receive knowledge from God in forms of guidance, commands, or historical narratives. Yeshua was a prophet. And he received, re he received revelation, which the Quran says he was pre preaching from the cradle with. You believe that, right? Quran. Quran confirms in Surah 546 that he received guidance, instructions, and light. So there is no question that Yeshua did indeed get inspiration from God. Christians often ask, where is the evidence of this angel? Right. If the angel is not the New Testament, where is the angel to make Quran 5, to make the Quran, to make Quran 355 and 6114 truthful? and not lies about Jesus and his followers being prevailing and being uppermost until the day of resurrection. Where is that angel? There is no physical evidence of it. Right. Quran 3.55 and Quran 61.14 are then lies, are they not? But does lack of evidence mean that it did not exist? It certainly helps to believe they did. It certainly helps to believe they did not exist. That is for sure. This is fallacy and reasoning. How so? Uh, just because no one today has seen evidence of the angel, this does not mean that it does not exist at all. <laughs> See here. You know, I think I've got... I'll read one. Okay. Whether they existed or, or, or didn't, the fact that, that, that the New Testament is uppermost and not lost like the Quran Injil, like the Muslim, the, the Islam Injil, is proof that Quran 3:55 and 61:14 are lies about Jesus and his followers prevailing, being uppermost until the day of resurrection. It's also proof that the Quran is a joke and a lie when it tells Jews and Christians to stand firm upon the Torah and Injil. It also makes it a lie that a Christian should use the angel to judge their end of the Quran with Quran 547. It also makes it a lie and a joke to come to me for my reading, not my reciting, but my reading of the, the four scriptures with Quran 1094. It also makes Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 70 through 72, lies for telling you, a Muslim, to make no distinction between all his books if the Quran is the only book of Allah that is not corrupted, face it. If the Torah and Angel are corrupted, then Quran 16, 101 and 2, 106 are lies when it says Allah abrogates scriptures that have been lost or forgotten. Um, replacing them with something the same or better. It also proves that the Quran is a lie about not being able to change or alter Allah's words. And you know something? I better end it here. Yeah. Bye.